Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Ghost Runner. This is episode 8. So last time we continued to make our way through Dharma City until we reached the next Cyber Void Jack point, but in the middle of going through the puzzles inside, the data was stolen by another Ghost Runner, who is likely going to be a boss in this level. And then we jumped on a train to chase them. So I'm guessing there's going to be a boss fight, but it's not going to be the same kind of boss fight as Tom. Considering this is not That's just a giant machine. Oh good, we're jumping right into an arena. Kill switch component not found. Mission to engage. She is like a weird corpse. Engaging. Alright. That's a So that's a parry we have to keep doing. Okay, I think I parried that one and it still didn't count. Yeah, so you have, if you time it wrong. I don't feel like I'm actually doing anything here. I think she can just do this forever. I mean, she's got a stamina meter. But I don't really know how it works. And if you're a little too far away, you won't parry. Instead, you'll just swing, get stunned, and then she'll kill you. Okay, so yeah, if you don't get it perfect, her energy will come back. This is going to be tough. Yeah, this, I'm not... I'm not waiting long enough on her spin swing, because again, I have trouble deflecting slow attacks. Well, With that went, uh... Parts, these moves wouldn't be possible. They aren't. It seems some technological progress has... That went by faster than our first phase with Tom. I'd say that for sure. Oh, shit. Okay, never mind. Still, she's not that hard. And as you can probably guess, it's pretty generous about when you swing. You can swing pretty late and still hit her. I can't believe I jumped into that. Timing is a little weird sometimes, though, because it feels like I should be hitting her, and it's still considered too early. Alright, big jump. Really? She, like, punched me. <laughs> That's enough. Alright, well at least we have a lot more options in this fight than we did with Tom, because you can kind of go either path to go at her. This is definitely a little janky. Like, obviously the combat was not made for blade on blade in this game. So it definitely looks a little janky when you fight her. She's all the way over here. So I think we have to do this whole fight in one, uh, one go. Do you hear me, monster? I should have 
have erased you a long time ago. Once your puppet is destroyed, I will fix that mistake. Even if it means ripping you out of the tower's walls, bit by bit, circuit by circuit, I'll destroy all the servers. You'll have nowhere to hide, no place to invest. I don't know if she's talking to me or the architect. Not really flawless, but that wasn't now bad. The important part. We can scan it for the missing data. Yes, it's all in there, intact. All right, now give me my cybervoid powers. Oh, this is nice. So, am I gonna get to use another power or another sword, rather? Because he grabbed her sword and put it away. It looks like we have a third ability now. You've Sir. been asking for a ranged attack. Here it is. All right, we got her blade swipe. You should be pretty familiar with this technique, considering you've been on the receiving end. So this could come in handy. Will this work with any sword? Turuji are weapons, not more than swords. They are the pinnacle of engineering, instruments fine-tuned to the Ghost Runner's systems. Yes, it will work with any sword. Okay, that was pretty cool. I just did that because I wanted to see if I could, but I think that's what it wanted me to do. You said projectiles are too unpredictable. Well, you have to plan for contingencies, don't you? That was pretty easy. We didn't have to solve any puzzles, but I guess we already did the puzzles for this one. That thing. I think that's what was chasing us. Diego, Saul, Elena. Your people. Yes. Yeah, there wasn't much left of her. We didn't know what it was. Just heard the voice. Okay. Also, we got... Her sword. That's a neat one. It's kind of a, like, laser katana type thing. We also, looks like, got a bunch more slots. So, what do I want to slot in there? Surge, extra charge. So I could throw two more. Probably that big X she does. Surge's wave travels much faster. That would help me not get shot before it actually hits them. Surge range. Or surge wave. I think range would probably be the best one. But then again, we're never really at that super long range. Tempest I haven't even really been using, because there's not a lot of good places to get close on people that you can't just stab them instead. Enemies aware of your presence are visible through walls. I mean, if I had these focus upgrades, it would make it easier to use my abilities more often. But I'm not sure how I would swap this around, because I kind of want to keep all the stuff I have. Maybe I'll get rid of Blink. I haven't really been using Blink much. Wait, that was range. This is area. Yeah, I think area is better, because usually if there's a group, I want to take them all out instead of them being far apart. All right, now how can I more efficiently slot this stuff? And really, this one is very awkward, this piece. So maybe I could, no. I could stick that there. Extra charge two. Deflect boost. Yeah, none of these are really that important. I feel like that one would be useful though. Um, is there something I can fit into this awkward space I've created? I could do that. That would only be sensory boost though. I really want to get this one, this focus overclock. So maybe... Never mind. 
I don't think there's anywhere I could fit this right now. Oh, no, never mind. There's a block there. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I kind of hate tinkering with these. They're just... I don't really like this kind of grid system. I like inventory Tetris, but not puzzle upgrade Tetris. I mean, none of these are essential. That's the nice thing. It's not like, oh, I'm really losing out if I don't have some of these equipped. It's just these are very helpful little bonuses. That's the one I was using before. Um, hmm. Yeah, this extra dash is really the big one that takes up a lot of space. Now I could shuffle that there. Um... Put this here. I'm trying to see if there's a more efficient spot for it, but I don't think there is. So if I do that, I could fit this like this. And what was my blink that I got rid of? Area. Whatever, let's see how this works. <laughs> I thought we'd scatter and regroup like always. I... I ran away. It's dead now. They're dead. We're ready. Time for the final assault. Wow, okay, I guess we're not that far off from the end. Though I'm guessing there's still one more area above Dharma City. The core. Well, I suppose not above. I don't think there's any collectibles in this level. It was just the one arena. I didn't see anything pop up. Alright, level completed in six minutes. Not bad, 13 deaths. A lot better than our last boss fight. But then she was just a timing boss and not a platforming boss. Oh, also I noticed when I was replaying through for the, uh, the last episode... You're getting closer to the core. Security is getting much tighter. There are sentry guns ahead. I can't hack them. There's a taunt button. to avoid those turrets. They're deadly. What about my spectral field? The core is protected by much more sophisticated sensors. I'm afraid automatic camouflage can only get us so far. Okay, they so we... can see me. They can see everything. Just gotta stay out of the beams. There's a collectible up there. I gotta hurry. Nope, too late. Um, did I lose that? Nope, looks like I got it. It's working. It took a while, but I think I can see the finish line from here. Today, I had a proper conversation with myself. It was intriguing, to say the least. Number 22 wasn't just parroting my views and ideas back to me. He was genuinely aware of the differences in our ontological status, and evidently adjusted his position due to that awareness. Then again, he did try to take over Cybervoid Network while we were talking. I ended up pulling the plug on him. But it doesn't matter. The Rubicon has been crossed. The dice is cast. And I don't intend to lose. Adam, this is how Robopocalypse started. You keep pulling the plug on them, and eventually one of them is going to catch on and kill you before you realize it. Though I guess that didn't happen because Mara killed him. So the architect we're talking to is not the original, likely. You know, he's a, a copied consciousness and not just a consciousness moved into a new body. You know, the thing that Simon couldn't understand in Soma was that a copy is a copy and not just you moving into a new body. Can I destroy these sentry guns? I suppose we should find that out while we've got one by itself. Answer is yes. 
So we can probably use Surge to destroy them too. Shit, I almost made it. <laughs> okay, I gotta wait until they're on this side and start moving to that side. Because, yeah, you can't even deflect these. They just instantly kill you. I got just a little too impatient there. <laughs> Alright, wait until they start drifting. Really? It must have caught me with just one sensor before I dashed. So yeah, I got a double dash when I hit the ground there. Okay. I guess we're kind of similar, you and I. How? You're the last ghost runner. I'm the last climber. Yeah, but I'm also a robot Team murder machine. People. We both chose to fight. I didn't get to choose. I was literally sure built for did. it. Everyone does. One way or the other. We don't even know if this was a person before, or if they just grew the ghost runners in a lab and then strapped them into machine parts. So yeah, with the uh, with Surge, I could just erase one of these. Sen oh, whoa. I could just erase one of these sentry guns from existence if I wanted to. Okay, not seeing anything on my collectible radar. That one also covers the other side, so we wait till it starts coming back. I think I can safely say this far into the game that the soundtrack has just been pretty great all the way through. Core used to house Dharma's technological and administrative centers. Like there haven't been any tracks where I'm like, eh. It's a grim ruin. It's painful seeing my city in. It's painful seeing my city in such a state of decay. I've learned my lesson. I, I don't won't know. Underestimate what Mara button again. is the stop running button? I won't underestimate Mara again. Okay. It looks like if I hit uh, crouch. I was already active when Mara killed. I can drop off a wall. Adam. Me. Back when I had a name and a body. I guess you know what. Let's use the other Ghost Runner sword. Oh, okay. Just don't grab the rail then, that's fine. Make me aggressively dash into it. Alright, no collectibles? Oh. Yeah, you can't really look around when you're on those things, because you don't know when they're going to end. I thought this was just one rail. <laughs> Damn it. I want to wall run at this guy. I like that you can kind of jiggle in the air back and forth until they take a shot. Alright, well that was your fault. I like this much kind of ooh, grimier, denser area of Dharma City. Looks more cyberpunky, I think, than having just all neat neon everywhere. Oh. Yeah, now that was too much of a fall. Why is there no checkpoint before this? Like, there should be one, like, right when you land here. So the collectible's up there. Um, hmm. I think I can get up through here.
Whiskey bottle. A truly singular relic of the old world. Most of the alcohol available in the tower today is made from scraps with some shady method. It must have belonged to some posh corporate executive. I bet Adam has a whole supply of whiskey. We heard him pop one in that last audio log. Also, the signs seem to be in every language, because there's some German there. About video surveillance. A surveillance camera. Aw, oh, man. Also, aw, oh, man. <laughs> When you get impatient and you jump a little too early. Alright, now where am I actually going? Control actually came in handy there as well, because that's a problem I've had a few times over the game. Is where I'm trying to land on somebody, right now, but then I the exclusion zone. touch no a wall. Are allowed beyond here. There are only rumors about the Keymaster's vast laboratories. I've heard she does some terrifying experiments there. You mean like? I've heard she sometimes throws people outside. Bringing ghost runners oh, back from the what? dead? No, outside, out of the tower. Probably to watch them die. That's messed up. Alright. So I'm taking it, we're gonna have to go through the labs before we get to the core. Uh, this one's not moving. I guess we'll run over here. There's another collectible around here somewhere. It looks like it is back there somewhere. I'm worried if I jump down, I won't be able to get back up. Uh, it looks like there's nothing else here, though. I wish I could lean, because I think I can drop down here to get behind the sentry. Hmm. It says it's like right here. Oh, I see it. It's up there. Um, can I get back up there though? That's what I was worried about, why I didn't want to jump down. Oh, okay. Well, that'll take me up here. It wouldn't be back there, would it? behind this wall right here. So we probably have to drop down to get there. It's like in here. Hmm. I might not be able to get there from this area. So yeah, I might have to circle back around from outside. Right? Nope. Never mind. Grapple point. I'm glad I looked back. Sunglasses. Or just glasses. Even after the burst, functional artificial eyes are still easier to get than vintage eyeglasses. These were either a fashion statement or a symbol of attachment to the old world. Either way, they belong to someone really rich. Those might be Adam's glasses. <laughs> I think they have that crack when you see them that oh, opening FMV. These guys can be really finicky. Like when you're trying to intentionally trigger them and they they get nervous and they just kind of vibrate. Okay. So they're both gonna come at me. Okay, we 
got another collectible. A delectable collectible. That is a broken blade. Tsuru GR weapons were custom made for each individual ghost runner. It is impossible to tell exactly what happened to the owner of this particular sword, but he's most probably long dead. Nope. <laughs> Almost jumped off. So I think I'm starting to, to feel good about playing this game. Obviously, I've run into some roadblocks, but for the most part, I don't feel like I'm getting stuck in any one place for too long now. That was where I should have used Tempest. They would have cut right through both of them. Where is this checkpoint? Oh, it's here. easy prey by himself. There is one man over behind me, though, so I can't stand still. Uh, he hasn't seen me yet. Sucks to be him. Now he has. Shit. I wonder if I could have got him, too. It's locked until we killed them all. Well, this guy's still easy prey. We were foolish to think we could do this without you. Even if the keys didn't stop us, we'd have never made it through. Correct. We were right to count on your help, though. If you succeed, all the climbers will not have died in vain. Oh, that's where we came from. Will. So we can go that way, but there's also... Probably can't get there yet. I was gonna say, there's two drones over there. I think we need to circle around before we can get up there. Ride this long ass rail. All right, fellas. How's it going? Yo, what? Yo, eyed me. Well, two of these guys is not hard to deal with. Especially after that boss fight. People grow desperate when they have no hope. And desperate people become violent, dangerous, basic psychology that remains out of Mara's grasp. Uh oh. She always lacked my subtlety when it came to dealing with them. She always lacked my subtlety when it came to dealing with other human beings. Yeah, he's real good at it, right? Oh, come on. There was one little thread left. Good enough. All right, we got a jump module here. Anything secret up there? Oh, shield drone. We haven't seen one of these for a while, thankfully. That's coming from up there, so we need to jump. Hold on. I think the collectible's even higher up. Ooh. Damn it. <laughs> I 
really didn't expect there to be two of those guys just standing up there waiting. Too early. Got this. No way. I missed. I didn't got it. <laughs> oh, there it is. I was trying to go up and really it was down. That's a void dragon, Suru GR. Eh, that's kinda cool. We're almost out of swords. It looks like I only missed one. Ooh, it's animated. That must have come out of a rare loot box. Uh, uh, hi. Uh, I didn't mean to be here yet. Got the Kuruno Alright, I deserve that because I taunted. Ooh, this one's got some fancy like, cut lines. But how come it seems to now be two swords stuck together? I'm curious about that. It's like the energy disappeared from it. Alright, I need to kill these guys. No taunting, no fancy shit, just stab. That's everybody over here. Now let's go back to these guys. Okay, where was that door? The door that had shurikens. Oh, he's a shield. Shurikens are not gonna help. Shit. There's a lot of enemies in this one room. Alright, well, we know what to do. I... my bad. I was gonna use my Surge and just cut right through both of them, but I hit three and forgot that it was already equipped. Alright, let's not get sloppy. We're getting sloppy. better. No way. It screwed me up when one guy hit the other guy, which screwed off the timing. <laughs> uh, we're gonna get this, though. I like that I'm having the most trouble with the easiest enemies out of the group. All they require you is to click at the right time, and that's it. No dodging or anything, just click before he hits you. Too late. I clicked too late. God damn it. Like, I did so well on, like, the first or second time here, and then every other time I'm just getting worse. Boys? No way. That time I tried to do it too early. Alright. 
These guys are just there to punish you for getting impatient. I'm just gonna kill both of those samurai at the same time. I tried to use Surge, <laughs> and uh, I guess I clicked wrong because I ended up just deflecting instead. Alright, let's, instead of going for those two guys down there, let's go for this. Okay, I'm kinda safe in this spot, but they are gonna move. Okay, that's them annihilated. And they still have shields, so. I don't know why I tried to do that. I thought maybe I could break their shield if I just hit it a bunch with shurikens. Trying new stuff. I think that room is just three shield men. I missed <laughs> the ball. Okay. Shit. Thought I could fit. Cool, cool jump. <laughs> it's stuck on the little ledge. Don't need to psych myself out, just need to kill him. I hit his shield like three times in a row. Uh-oh. It even lets you wall run on these circular things. And we do have to kill all of them, I think, to get this door open. Yeah, I don't think shurikens are gonna help against these shielded guys. They're kind of in good spots to not get stabbed in the back by... or shuriken from the front, I guess. <laughs> But maybe, hmm, I was thinking maybe I could get shurikens going and hit him from behind. I don't think it's gonna work. I think I'm just gonna have to drop on him and start killing. Really get the drop on him. Oh fuck! God damn it! Tempest actually work better on the shielded guys. Wow, he still caught me. Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, you can't slide from that close. Erased him. The shurikens do last pretty long, so I might be able to get one up from above. Alright, well, I got one of them at least. I think the bottom one is going to be my problem. This one right here. It's such a big chunk of time to get back to that point. I 
And I can't even just focus on taking them out first because I can't get to their shield without going past all of them. What do you got? This is kind of what I mean about you only have a limited amount of energy for a game like this before you kind of have to stop and recharge. The important thing is not to, to bounce off their shield, because that will kill you. Okay. These two little shitty guys are still here, gotta remember that. I can't believe that. I saw it coming right before it happened, and I should have at least slashed or something instead of letting it happen. God damn it. I just noticed that this was here. Kind of speeds things up. Don't you yada yada me. Shit. Okay. Well, I was about to say I'm alright, and then one of them caught me finally. Okay. I think that one's bullshit is when I dash up to him and swing and it misses. <laughs> so this is going to be another 100 deaths in this one room. I don't know, I felt like I was doing so well up to this point. And I got to this room and it's like, well, guess I'll die. Really? Every time I think I've got this down pat, something happens that throws me off. I always think I'm immune up there, and then like one time they'll have an angle that actually hits me. in danger. Ah, I saw that exposed booty and I needed to go for it. Get impatient and just go right for their faces. Alright, I tried to use Tempest and I actually missed. Can you not swing in the middle of a... Okay. Uh, this is interesting. I can't... I'm mashing left click right now, and I can't swing my sword anymore. Can I... Yeah, I can click, but if I left click in-game, uh, it will not swing. I don't know what could have caused that. I was confused why I was dashing and then not swinging the sword afterwards, and I was like, okay, did I not realize you can't swing after dashing right away? But no, you can. I just can't attack now. Okay, well... That's, uh, pretty bad, because you kind of need that for everything. So, I guess this would be a... restart from checkpoint kind of situation. 
Nope, still can't swing, so I probably have to relaunch the game. So you know what? I guess we're gonna end it here. And we'll take another crack at this fight that I should be able to do really well next time when I can actually swing my sword. But until then, I've been Shadefire, this has been Ghost Runner, and thanks to you for joining me for the boss fight that I think went pretty well. You know, this part, not so good, but I did pretty good on the boss fight. Till next time, take care, runners.